Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Train Showcase. I have a Warhammer 40k display board with four modular pieces on it. It is for a Chaos Demons army. It measures 24 inches by 18 inches and the frame is about an inch and a half around it. So it's about 25 and a half inches wide by 19 and a half inches well, for the with the with the whole frame and uh, it's based off pictures that the client sent in of his models uh, I think they're based on scenic bases with this type of uh, tile motif and grass in between so I just laid out some sand so because uh, all these tiles are cut from um, I guess it's 3 16 inch uh, card uh, plastic card, sorry, uh, and then just a little bit of glue and lay out some tiles, a little bit more glue and lay out some tiles, and then eventually I got the whole thing done, filled in the, everything in between with the sand, airbrushed the whole thing up, a little bit of dry brushing, and then added in the static grass. Uh, again, all these all these pieces are modular, so you can you can use some of them, or you can use none of them, or you can position them where you want them. So anything that you order from me, you can get. Uh, I'm pretty sure I came up with the idea to make them modular so then you have the option of moving them around and using them or not using them. I'm not really sure, climb on that, I said I could do some glowy ruins and I'm not really sure if I really like how I did the glow, but if the client likes it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll change it for it's more rock face and each individual one is glowing. Um, they're kind of just more doing a full glow right now. Not really sure if I really like the like the effect, but if the client likes it, we can we can stick with it. So I'll just jump the camera off the tripod here, and uh, we'll do a little flyover of this piece. It's pretty simple. So so again, this guy's just a half inch piece of foam that's laid into this uh, nice picture frame that I picked up from the local Walmart here. Uh, sand and a mix of two colors of static grass are laid on with a just grab this with my other hand here I use this little sifter and it is actually standing up pretty nice it's nice and nice and fuzzy and so you got this flat guy some of this ruin can be taken away too if it's too glowy you know you put a big because I'm pretty sure the uh, clients Army has a lot of big base miniatures, so a big base can sit on here nice and flat. Obviously these these ones are on an angle. And they got the pillars. Client requested some pillars, so there's pillars on that one. And this one is um, a set of two pillars, or one large pillar that's fallen over in the other pillar there. Somewhere off the board. Just another piece. Well, I'm just gonna clear, clear these guys to the side for a second here. Put them onto the black. And then we can see that guy. Just gotta be careful when you're doing things like this that you, you know, just I, I took a second to give an overall look there so that overall look, you know, it more or less the grass isn't growing there but there's a lot more grass growing here I, I did that on purpose but you have to give a little bit of narrative unless you just want to do some random things but if you you know think about how the grass is growing and what what used to be here because obviously there was some type of large building or this, this all was one one large walkway or something up to to some cathedral or in some town town square or something it's all overgrown and desolate now so again you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com if you're interested in any custom work and I have more videos to come thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed tell your friends please I really like the more subscribers <laughs> Uh, and happy wargaming.